There's no secret in how to get the American economy booming again. Adam Smith, who was born in Scotland 300 years ago this month, gave us the prescription for prosperity in his classic breakthrough book in economics called An Inquiry into the Nature and Causes of the Wealth of Nations. Hello, I'm Steve Forbes, and this is What's Ahead, where you get the insights you need to better navigate these turbulent times. Governments around the world are floundering as they grapple with inflation and poorly performing economies. Back in 1776, Adam Smith laid out how to achieve prosperity in his book on the wealth of nations. The formula is simple. Low taxes, stable money anchored to gold, free trade, and limited government. Let the people have the freedom to pursue opportunities to improve their lot in life, to pursue ideas on creating new and better products and services, and all of us will benefit with an ever higher standard of living. As Smith put it, quote, little else is required to carry a state to the highest level of opulence from the lowest barbarism, but peace, easy taxes, and a tolerable level of justice, end quote. In an essay entitled, The Economics of Life Made Simple, which can be found on skeptic.com, noted economist Mark Skousen observes that, quote, back then the state had its hand in everything, it constantly interfered in the economy by regulating foreign trade, granting monopolies to certain industries, licensing various occupations, setting wage rates, and even requiring permission to move from one town to another, end quote. Not much success with approaches like that. Britain was haltingly moving in a more Smithsonian direction when Smith published his opus. By putting on paper the principles of liberty and free market economics, Smith inspired Britain, the U.S., and eventually other countries to more purposely pursue prosperity-creating policies. As these Smithsonian principles became widespread, the 1800s saw more wealth creation and better living standards than all of the previous centuries put together, even as populations expanded as never before. Skousen points to an irrefutable truth, quote, countries with greater economic freedom have substantially higher per capita incomes, end of quote. Yet since the Great Depression of the 1930s, governments have generally been moving away from Smith's formula of low taxes, sound money, and limited government. Free trade is under attack. Intrusive government regulations are mushrooming, and overall taxation in most countries is getting more burdensome. Right now, the U.S., which once proudly proclaimed itself the land of liberty, as an administration that is relentlessly pushing modern socialism, that is, government control of the economy through regulation, massive spending, and ever more taxation. All this is why the 2024 elections will be a watershed. Will we rediscover Smith's insights, or will we go down the road to a world where government bureaucrats determine what commercial activities are permissible? and where those sweeping COVID-19 lockdown decrees about what we could do and not do become not an aberration, but the new normal for our everyday lives. I'm Steve Forbes. Thank you for listening. Do send in your comments and suggestions. I look forward to being with you soon again. Mm-hmm.